Okay, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Cody. How are you doing today, my girls? Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> are you with me? Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm pretty, pretty well, good. Yeah, I'm so happy as well. It's a pretty tough day, but that's okay. I'm happy. <laughs> I see. Are you drinking us a, a coffee or having lunch or having dinner right now? Yes, I have that dinner. I Oh, you already I have ate. it? Or yes. you have it right now? No. I oh. did. Oh yes. my god, really? Oh my god. And tell me, <laughs> how was the dinner? Was it good? Yes, it was. Mm, who prepared? I did you prepare it? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Uh, oh, 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 you I are a cook. chef. <laughs> yes, I prefer cook. Okay, um, and tell me, what did you eat? What did you prepare for dinner? And I prepare a, no sé cómo se dice, casamiento. <laughs> oh, you prepare rice and beans. <laughs> okay, rice and beans. And eggs and... Is crumble eggs? Uh, or fried ones? Fried. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Different. Uh, only that. And tea. Delicious. <laughs> only that? Like, um, yeah. I don't know, cream, cheese, tortillas, bread. Any fried bananas? And cream. Cream. Mm. Yes. And a cup of coffee, I can imagine. Uh, or tea. I prefer a tea. <laughs> you prefer a tea? Okay. Yes. What type of tea? I like everything. All, I, all I flavor. Like, all the kind all, of flavor. Uh -huh, all kind of type of tea. Ah. But in this moment, I... I... Jamaica? <laughs> oh, Jamaica one? Yes. Oh, but do you prefer hot tea or cold tea? Cold, no. Cold tea. No. Oh, because it's hot. Oh, no, hot, pardon. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hot. 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 Yeah, but Jamaica's really nice. Yes. Oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> so I do have a tea girl here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tea I love. are amazing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Before, uh, and also it, the tea, I don't know about Jamaica one. I don't know how much about the properties of a Jamaica tea, but most of the teas, helps you with your digestion after dinner so when you go back to bed you can have a actually you can rest much better wow i didn't know <laughs> well i'm talking about teas i don't know exactly the properties of jamaican teas right now but for mm -hmm. example uh camel milk tea um green tea for example or bamboo tea, those teas helps a lot in the digestion. So it's really good, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you should search for more information about Jamaican, about Jamaican tea. Maybe it has another properties. Good for your health, of course. I am a big uh, a tea. I... You're a, you're, how you, <laughs> yeah. hey, you know what? Talking about that, that you are a <laughs> on tea, do you remember, yes. you, you know that we have an expression in English that when you, for example, add it to a, diff, a type of beverage or a type of um food, we have the word holic, like the one that you oh. use for alcoholic, but in mm -hmm. this case, mm -hmm. alcoholic is, is something different, right? Okay. But the word holic, you can use, for example, when you really love something and that you enjoy the most and talking about for example food most of the time for example if in my case i love coffee so i said i'm a coffee holic in wow your case, you, teacher. <laughs> your pleasure my pleasure you, you like tea you're a tea holic you see or for example if you love chocolate you're a chocolate holic 
Pupusaholic. Okay, exactly. A hundred percent. A hundred percent with you, my friend. Definitely. Oh, yeah, of course. If not, you would not be a Salvadorian one. Of course not. Oof. So you can eat pupusas every single day, Frank? Yeah, I like it you very like it? much. Uh, do you yes. have a specific flavor that you enjoy the most? Uh, I like it, uh, mixes. Mixes uh, what with a with a pork por with a pork, pork meat? cheese um cheese. Uh, beans uh, beans yes. Uh -huh. What about the ones that you made based on plants? For example, ayori or uh, no those kind of of, of pupusas you don't like. I love everything. Love okay cool yeah. all righty I love you the one that you you hear called in El Salvador cochinito. Yes, Papalillo, that's an amazing Papalina. one. Vegetal. Vegetal one, exactly. You made based on vegetables. Uh, mushrooms, garlic one. Garlic is good. But you know what? I figured it out. The perfect mix for me is the one that you mix it with a pork meat and jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Really. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's ooh. It, I don't care about that my tummy is burning. Because it's really hot, right? But it's really amazing. Okay, are you paying attention, right, guys? Because maybe we're going to uh play a game. I don't know. Maybe memory game. Who knows? The teacher could come up with a different um situation. You'll see. We have. Thank you, Frank. We have Saul. Saul, welcome to the jungle. Sorry. <laughs> welcome to the class, my friend. Hey, we're talking about food. Favorite foods, uh, is that, or, and drinks or beverages. Isaura said that she's like a tea holic. Francisco said that he's a pupusa holic. I mean, that means that he's crazy about tea or crazy about pupusas. What about you? Do you have any specific food that you love the most? Saulita. Oh, yeah. Very the good. most I like this. Um... Only one, my man. Only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how to say. You don't have it? Yeah. Yes, I have it. I, the fish, I think, the, or mariscada, I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. Like a seafood food? Soup seafood, soup? exactly. Wow. Exactly. But a natural one or with cream? Uh, soup with cream? I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. you don't care. As long as it's seafood, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yes. It's really yeah. mm, amazing. You got to go to the Union department and yeah. you can have like a huge seafood soup with a low price cost. Yeah, I had uh, to go yes. to the Union. Uh -huh. I, I got it. I got to go to do something. There, uh, you you had to go there for a business yeah, I purposes. Have to, I, yeah, I have to go there. Oh, okay. So you see, yeah, I have you to better take there. the chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Uh, okay, hey, and send us a picture, okay? Yes, I will. Okay, you see, guys, listen. He's gonna so, send us a picture. As soon as I can. As soon as I. As soon as. I... Okay, we will waiting for those pictures. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you, Zaul. Hey, Thank Isa, you. Isabel, what about you? What's your favorite food or beverage? Uh, my favorite food is tacos. Tacos? I mean, ta tacos or, or Mexican food? And tacos. Just tacos. Just tacos. Which one? Um, Chicken tacos, beef tacos. Uh, beef tacos. Beef tacos. Uh, birria. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and why you like them? Um, why? Because of the flavor, the preparation. That what makes you holic about tacos? Uh, I like uh, for the food and color and. Uh -huh. You can do it. You can do flavor. it. Flavor. The flavor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. 
and mm. you know what the preparation of the meat because the meat it comes with a with a with a sauces right yes it's not dry yes it's a uh, uh, soup exactly oh that's right oh yeah and have you tried beef tangle ones mm, no oh you should try it my girl <laughs> And I and I think you're, it's gonna be number one two tacos that you will love the most. Yeah, I guarantee a hundred percent about that. Oh my goodness! Hi right, guys, you're make me hungry. <laughs> But that's good. Have you listened, right? Isa tacos, Mr. Frank pupusas, Mr. Alex seafood soup, natural with cream, no matter what. And Isaura tea holic. That's just crazy about tea. Okay, what about you, Carlita? What is your favorite food? Or your beverage? Good evening. Good evening. I I like to eat uh, lasagna. Ooh, lasagna. Uh, like Garfield? Uh, oh, chicken. Chicken lasagna. Oh, but only lasagna or you are crazy about Italian food in general? No, I prefer lasagna. Lasagna, okay. For for the pasta. Yes. For the pasta one. Oh, and did you learn how to prepare it, or no? Uh, no, really. This moment, no. no. But that would be a a really good goal to reach, right? Yes, I I like to learn, but at this moment I can't. <laughs> ah, okay, because of the time. Gotcha. Yeah, my baby in the future. Why not? That's good. Mm, you see, lasagna. We have international tastes. Mm, lasagna, tea from England or British. We do have pupusas. We do have seafood soup. And we do have tacos, Mexican ones. Uh, 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 very good. David. David. My man, David. Hello, sir. Hey, guys, I want to see your faces. I want everybody to turn on the cameras, please. Doesn't matter if you have no comb your hair, if you have no take a shower, if you are eating. That's okay for me. Unless the one that you're working. Hey, Jonelle. Hello, my girl. Thank you so Hello, much for being you. in class. I know that you're still working, so don't worry about it. That's okay. But, Jonelle, do you like... Do you have a specific food or beverage that you really love and crazy about it? Yes, I'm crazy about it, but uh, I prefer some food and Chinese. Which one? I I couldn't I couldn't hear you right now quite well. Yeah, I'm crazy about it, but not some food and Chinese. Chinese, hey, that's good. You're my girl. <laughs> of course, definitely. Oh, what about sushi? Who likes sushi? Yes, I like it a lot. Well, only Jonelle and me. Come on, you said sushi. Weird. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. It's really amazing. Mm -mm. Thank you, Janelle. Christian, what about you, Christian Jose Leiva Fuentes? I, I need to speak. Yes, sir. I may apologize for that. Hi, teacher. Hi, sir. What's your favorite food or beverage? My favorite food is bread of chicken. Bread of chicken or yes. bread with chicken. Oh, bread of chicken. That's yes. part of your of the chicken. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have any preparation that you love the most? What? You have any preparation of the chicken that you love the most? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. I not understand english well ah, Sorry. okay don't worry that's what you're here for my friend awesome okay, okay. so you love bread of chicken right that's yes. part of the chicken but how do you like it the most the preparation do you like it with sausage with potatoes tomatoes just grilled uh, i like the este como se dice este How do you say? How do you how, say? How do you say Estelle? Como la salsita del pollo. Ah, with the sausage. 
Yes. Ah, ok. Yes, I like. With potatoes and tomatoes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, that's really good because the sausage is a clue. Yes. You have a It's good delicious. sausage. Mm -hmm. With Yes. rice. Eh, so, so. A And veces, how many a tortillas? veces. Eh, también. Also? Yes. How many tortillas? 25 cents of tortillas? 50 cents of tortillas? Eh, one or two. One or two what? Dollars? No. Ah, okay. Like Only, one. only one Ah, or only two. one tortilla. Are you on a diet, Yes. my friend? What? Are you on a diet? I not understand. Ah, on a, uh, on a diet, that means um, why you are eating only one tortilla. Yes. But why? Oh, because uh, you don't like tortillas, or because you don't have to eat too many tortillas. Eh, no, es, es, es suficiente. It's enough. Yes. I'm going to write it, guys. When you're talking about sufficiente, it's enough. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write it down so you can keep it for your records. It's enough. Teacher, ahí me disculpa, pero a mí se me dificulta lo que es el inglés. Don't worry. Ahí me disculpa. You don't have to worry. You don't have to sorry about anything. Don't worry. Ok. That's what you are here for. Ok. To improve your English. To understand much better. If, Christian, if you want me to slow down a little bit, to speak slowly... That's fine. That's fine Ok. for me. Or if you Ok. said, teacher, please, can you split it in Spanish if you don't mind? I I hate that. I'm not just kidding. No, uh, it's because I speak English every single day, right? So I, Ok. I, I, I hopefully will try to speak the best Spanish as possible. Of Yes. course. Because for me, it's a little bit hard Spanish, but I'm doing my best. Um, Ok. But if I have to, I have to. Because you know what? I'm here not to spend one hour, not to just give any any topic. I'm here to make sure that you learn, that you Okay. understand. Yeah. I, that's why I I'm, I think somebody asked for exercises on the WhatsApp group. And I really appreciate that you are team guys, that you like to support each other that you would like to help your um your co-worker or your classmate but what i really care is that what you learned even though it's a little bit information maybe it's not a huge information it's a small information but the information that you know you understand it that's my goal i don't care about amount of content of information i understand and i care about quality of information not quantity that's what i liked the most that even though you can say only one phrase in english but you are sure about what you're saying you understand what you're saying that's my goal that's what i'm here for so christian don't don't feel bad i teacher i don't understand don't worry We are a team, we are a family, and everybody, each of you, maybe you don't know the answer, maybe Francisco knows it, or maybe Carlita, or maybe Natalie, or Catherine, and they can help you. We are a family, we are a team, don't you think? Okay. Yeah, so don't worry about it, okay? I'm so Yeah. happy that you're sincere, and I'm gonna give you an, an And advice, guys, for everybody, not only for Christian. I'm really happy what, that when you're trying to explain yourself, you're doing the best that you can, which is really good. I'm happy when I'm listening to you. I'm happy, Christian, that you're doing your best. Also, that Isa, Jonel, everybody's doing your best, and David as well. But I'm going to give you honest, an advice. When you would like to speak or when you would like to express yourself about something, Don't try to compare with another one or don't try to use a vocabulary that you don't know. Try to express yourself with the information and the vocabulary that you know so far. 
when we are learning or we will continue learning English, of course, your vocabulary will increase. You will know more information. You will know another ways to say exactly the same expression, but that one comes with the time. So when you express yourself, try to use the vocabulary that you know so far. Don't complicate yourself. You see? Don't complicate it. Yeah, and and if, if you have made a mistake, that's okay. That's part of the process. If you do not make a mistake, you have never learned. So that's okay. Don't feel sorry like, oh my goodness. Ah, that's okay. Ah, mm -hmm. You got it? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. And you know what? Only see you here, it shows that you would like to learn. And my man, give me doll five. I'm so happy about it. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Yeah, definitely. You're tired. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you prefer to play the video games or something like that, right? Or Sonic. <laughs> but you're here. And I'm so happy. Isara, she already finished having dinner. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for being sincere. David, finally, I can see you, my friend. Where have you been? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> All righty, guys. So tell me something. Who said that loves pupusas by heart? Who said that? Francisco, I think. Francisco, exactly. Who said that is a tea holic? Isaura. Isaura, very good. Who loves um birria tacos? Isabel. Isabel, very good. Who likes hey Carlitos Alberto Martinez? Goo -hoo, nice to see you, sir. Who said that loves lasagna? That is Garfield's Garfield's sister. By the way, who said that? Carla. Carlita, very good. And who loves, by heart, seafood soup, natural or with cream? Doesn't matter. It's the same for him. Oops, it was a man's, yes, by the way. Saul Alexander. Very good. Oh my goodness, you were paying attention. Congratulations, my friend. Woohoo, awesome. Okay, so. Hey, let the let the blood start. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Welcome to the second week of this model. Woohoo! It's Monday. The body know that it's Monday. I know you said Monday. Carlita, hopefully you're you're not like Garfield that you hate Mondays. Because I don't like Mondays at all. It's really hard to wake up, right? Well, at oh, least for me. Okay. I don't know about you. Later. A little, of course, definitely. Today, guys, we're going to start a grammar part that I know that everybody loves grammar here. I know by how you say grammar. Yeah. No, I know. Everybody's like, eh, what? Okay. Grammar. But the grammar part that we're going to see today actually will help you to finish the 2.2s exercises that most of you said, oh, my God, I'm going to shop. It's giving me a headache. I don't understand any clue. Don't worry about it. That's what we're here for, okay? Today, guys, we're going to talk about two grammar points that are really important. Uh, the present continuous passive and the present perfect passive. You're like, what the heck is that? Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, <laughs> I understand that perfectly. But before we get into deep into that topic, uh, we need to like recap or refresh something. For example, I don't know if you remember, but let's give it a try. Um, present continuous. When do we use the present continuous? Anybody remember? Any idea? We Only one? Present... Uh -huh, David? We use present continuous when we are talking about a, a situation that is happening in this moment. That is happening at the same time as speaking, right? Yes. Exactly. For example, I am uh, taking an online class right now. Wow. Yes. If you use right now, you emphasize it. Very good. Everybody is speaking. Everybody is paying attention. The teacher is explaining, giving classes. Exactly. You're right. 
about ongoing activities. Or as you said, something that is happening at the time that you're speaking. Okay, awesome. Clear like water? Is everybody agree with David? Or no? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Yes. Christian, are you are are you agree? Do you understand? Yeah, so so. So so what do you do not yes. understand? What? What? Are you talking to me? No. What do you didn't understand? Ah, lo que no entendí. Uh -huh. Cool, yo sí. Eh, en la parte donde, eh, si no me equivoco, que decía cómo se usaban los... Este, no, no me acuerdo cómo era este, los presentes, los uh -huh. verbos presentes o no sé cómo, algo así. Ah, don't worry, don't worry about it. Okay. Present continuous. Yes. O presente continuo. Present continuous. Ajá, uh -huh. o present continuous, exactly. When yes. do we use it? ¿Cuándo lo usamos? When do we use it, guys? Carlita, go ahead. When we are doing an action. Ajá. Uh -huh. You see, Christian, when we are doing an action. Right okay. now. Right now. Okay. What are you doing? You are listening, right? Okay. Carlitos, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Carlitos Alberto. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> All righty. Christian. Guys, let me explain a little bit in Spanish, right? So Christian can be on the same page with everybody. Because that's what I want. Christian, ¿cuándo usamos el presente continuo? Cuando estamos hablando de una acción que estamos haciendo en el momento que estamos hablando o una acción que está pasando. Por ejemplo, ¿qué estoy haciendo yo ahorita? Speaking. Speaking. ¿Qué estás haciendo tú ahorita? Eh, Aparte de what, watching the class watching the class or making questions ¿sí? haciendo preguntas right yes ok everybody is listening todo mundo está escuchando ¿sí? Okay. ok entonces el presente continuo se ocupa para eso ¿por qué estoy haciendo eso? porque quiero que saber si ustedes entienden en el en el laxo de, en la línea del tiempo cuando se usa X o Y verb tense o, o tiempo verbal, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Sí. Cool. All right. Ahora bien. When do you use present perfect? Este, cuando uh -huh. se dice que este, el sujeto está escribiendo algún objeto. Ajá, ¿Qué? casi, casi. Te falta un cachito ah, más, pero ahí vas, ahí okay. vas. Cool. Okay. Present perfect, guys. Anybody else who wants to help Christian? Action okay. when, when, in the, yeah. Uh -huh. Do it. You can do it, Isara. You can do it. Go for it. I forgot the, the word, but uh, in the past, in, in, and continue in the present. Very good. Good job. Good job. Luis, you want to raise your hand? You want to give something extra? Extra information, Luis? Go ahead, Luis. Mr. Luis. Hi. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I have a problem with my Intro. microphone. Okay, don't worry. That's microphone, okay. my internet, and everything. Uh, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, no, uh, basically it's the same thing. Uh, I think the person, the person perfect is when you describe an action in, and that action is is in that moment, but didn't finish yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Your idea perfect. with Isaura is good. For example, guys, present perfect, an action that started in the past but it's continuous in the present for a little bit. Or it's still in the present, even though it was started in the past. Let me give you an example. Oh, Christian, una acción que comenzó en el pasado y que ha continuado por un breve momento 
o que continúa en el presente. That's the present perfect. ¿Sí? Una acción. Por ejemplo, te voy a dar un ejemplo. Um, ah, eso sí. Para el present perfect usamos un auxiliar bien importante. Which is the important auxiliary or the main auxiliary that we use? Do you remember? Have. Have. ¿Para qué el sujeto? You. I, we, you, we, I. they, we. They and I. Very good. And has. He, we. He, 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 she, he, 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 pero ese es el auxiliary. Pero se recuerden que tenemos que usar un main verb o un verbo principal. After, have, or has. ¿Sí? Es el main verb. ¿En qué verb tense está? Past participle. Past participle. Exactly. Por ejemplo, I have been o I have written I have seen, etc. Right? Exactly. Muy bien. Está en la parte de pasado participio. Ahora bien, con el ejemplo, Christian, y para everybody. ¿Cómo sé que una acción empezó en pasado y, y continúa en el presente? Let me give you an example. Um, okay. I have been in Costa Rica since... 1994. Lo escribo. I have been in Costa Rica. Remember that Costa Rica is the name of a country, so it got to be capital letters. At least the first letter of each word. Since 1994. You see, I sent it to the, to the chat in what in Zoom chat. I have been in Costa Rica since 1994. Guys, I, the subject, yo, ¿verdad? Auxiliary, have, because I'm talking about myself. Past participle of be? Being, right? Being. Being. And then the complement in Costa Rica since 1994. Guys, that um, sentence, I have been in Costa Rica since 1994. Tell me, when I started living in Costa Rica, what year? 1994. In 1994, Christian. I started living in Costa Rica in 1994. Guys, am I still living there? Todavía vivo allí? No. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Porque dice, si lo traducimos en español, yo empecé, o oh, he estado en Costa Rica oh, desde since 1994. Quiere decir que en 1994 yo llegué a Costa Rica, es 2023, and I'm still there. ¿Sí? That's present perfect. Algo que comenzó en el pasado. Mi vida en Costa Rica comenzó en 1994. Estamos en el 2023, and I'm still there. Yeah, so that is to the present thingy. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> present perfect. Hubiera sido diferente si yo digo I had I have lived in Costa Rica for mm, Or I have lived in Costa Rica for 19 years. Hubieran sido 20, si hubiera sido 2024, pero todavía no, ¿verdad? Así que serían 19 años. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que en la segunda uso past tense. 
que dije allá, yo viví en Costa Rica por 19 años, yo viví, ya no estoy ahí, hoy estoy en otro lugar, pero por 19 años yo viví en Costa Rica, eso es past tense, algo que empezó en el pasado y se quedó en el pasado, punto. Pero la primera es que yo en 1994 llegué a Costa Rica, 2023 y todavía estoy allí, present perfect. ¿Sí? Y nunca se olvide, present perfect, auxiliar, have or has, plus the past participle of the verbs. Eso es sumamente importante. ¿Por qué necesitaba, chicos, saber que ustedes más o menos andaban en la jugada o se, se, se recordaban del verb tenses? Porque esos verb tenses son importantes para lo que vamos a ver hoy. Si tú no te acuerdas, ibas a estar dando, como se dice en salvadoreño, vía. Me encanta esa palabra. O como se dice en inglés, en la Bill Street. <laughs> Which I really like as well. ¿Estamos bien, Christian, hasta ahorita? So far is good? Yes. Ok, cool. Perfecto. Ok, hoy hago otra pregunta. ¿Qué es la voz pasiva? Yo voy a decir, Padre Santo, Teacher, goodness, usted nos va a tirar a matar hoy. <laughs> eh, lo que I understand of the uh -huh. passive voice is que se ocupa en el presente, uh -huh. pero tiene que ver más con el pasado. ¿Cómo hiciste? Este, o sea, eh, ¿Cómo me explico? Tiene que ver con el, en el presente, pero más que todo se usa con past participle. Ajá, ajá, por ahí uh -huh. vas, por ahí vas. Muy bien. Ok. Good, good job. Estamos ahí en la mitad, pero estás bien. Good job. Very good. Ok. Do your best. Bye. Ok, passive and active. Ya, uh, yes, Ada. Ida, sorry, me apologize. Uh, yeah, I think that it's uh, like a... Who receives the, the action? Uh -huh. Who receives the action? Uh, okay. Yes, uh, for example, uh, Christian, for, for example, the, 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 the common, it's the Amos Christian, uh, 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 was, was uh, good about the, the topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, the passive voice is uh, the duty about the topic is Christian. Uh, uh -huh. I understand yeah. what you're talking about. Yes, I understand yeah. what you're talking about, about the doer of the action you're talking. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. But I'm, uh, And thank you so much for that. Yeah, very good, Ida. But I'm going to give you guys an example that will be a little bit easier. Take a look. Let me share right now my screen. This is, guys, it's just, we're just recapping, we're just reviewing. But it's really important that you uh, refresh that information because if not, you will not understand this topic. Okay, are you able to see? Let me know once you're able to see. Are you able to see it now? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Guys, active voice. Let's recap. Um, Frank, can you be please so kind to read for me? The one that says active voice. Okay, teacher, active voice. Uh, uh, you need to uh, read it every time. Only, only the sentence. Only the sentence that is oh. next to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, he plays cricket. He plays cricket. Okay, awesome. Very good. For example, I can say he plays cricket or Francisco plays cricket. Good. Guys, in the active voice, um I I really care about what he plays or I really care about who make the action. What is most important? The action or the subject? The object or the subject? The subject. The subject. The subject. Exactly. I I I want an information about that. Mr. Francisco or he or could be anybody else plays cricket. So here in the active voice, 
I really care about the doer of the action. Okay, I really care about that. Let's see, let me put something extra. Yes, there we go. Okay, you see? We're good on that. Okay, so he is the subject, play, is a verb, right? But in this case, it's a S because it's third person singular. And then the object is cricket. But how can I use exactly the same information but in a passive voice? Take a look, guys. The object of the sentence in active voice is going to be the subject in passive voice. And the subject in active voice is now the object in the passive voice. So now I said cricket is played by who? By him. Is it is understandable or what I, I can give you another example if you want. Otro yes. Yes, okay. Por ejemplo, yo les digo. Él juega cricket. ¿Sí? Active voice. Él juega cricket. He plays cricket. Hoy no me interesa. Me interesa que él juega cricket. A mí me interesa que el sujeto principal es él en la primera. Ahora, esa misma información yo le voy a dar vuelta y la voy a pasar a pasivo. Entonces, he es subject, ¿verdad? El verbo principal es play, en este caso plays, porque estamos hablando de third person. Y el objeto es cricket. Puede ser soccer, guys. Puede ser tenis, puede ser basketball, puede ser cualquier tipo de juego. Ahora bien, cuando yo lo paso a pasiva, el objeto se vuelve hoy el sujeto de la oración porque cambia la posición. Y el sujeto, que era en este caso he, se vuelve el objeto porque va hasta el final. Hoy no me interesa que él juegue cricket en el, pas en el pasivo. Hoy me interesa lo que juega. ¿Sí? Entonces sería cricket o tenis o baseball o basketball, whoever, is played by him, por él. ¿Sí? Le pongo otro ejemplo. América es, fue descubierta por Cristóbal Colón. Pregunto. ¿Sí? No, Cristo, bueno, digo, Cristóbal Colón descubrió América. Esa, así es. Cristóbal Colón descubrió América. En esa sentence. Activo. Es importante. La, descubrió el, América. ¿Descubrió América o quién lo descubrió? ¿Quién lo descubrió? Exactly. ¿En eso es active o passive? Active. 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 Ok. Ahora, yo quiero hacer lo mismo, pero passive voice. ¿Quién le voy a dar vuelta a la tortilla? Y digo, America, es, es como el color descubrió América. America es un objeto. Sí, América es un objeto. Dale vuelta. Cristóbal Colón. Cristóbal Colón. Exactly. Hoy quiero decir, America was discovered o is discovered, si estamos en presente, by Cristóbal Colón. Correct. Exactly. ¿Ves cómo va a dar vuelta la tortilla? Está diciendo lo mismo. Solo que el sujeto y el objeto cambian de position en la sentence. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Sí? Y si tú te fijas... Yes. Utilizamos by, pero podemos usar muchas prepositions, guys. Está because of, está do, by, etc. Hay un montón. Y todas significan lo mismo, porque tienen el mismo significado. Christian, hasta ahorita, ¿cómo vas? So far, so good. ¿Estamos bien? Yes, I understand. Da, perfecto. ¿Por qué quiere saber que ustedes estuvieran claro? Present continuous, present perfect, past participle, o passive voice. Porque ¿saben qué? En este grammar vamos a unir todo. Y tú dices, mira la Isaura, madre santa, dice yo, what the, oh my goodness, me pego un balazo. No, 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 no. Pero si tú sabes, por ejemplo, 
la diferencia o entiendes uno por individual, se te va a hacer más fácil cuando los unimos todos, right Y de esa manera vas a poder hacer el ejercicio. ¿Qué tanta traba te estaba dando? Ok, let me share my screen with you. Hasta ahorita. So far so good. Any questions? Any doubts? Feel free to ask. ¿Cómo vamos? David está a punto de colapsar. ¿Ya? Yeah? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ira, Miss, uh, what is the, the different uh, article that we use? Do, buy, in another? Ah, no te acordas. Don't remember. No. Goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quiz me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, yes, we have a difference. Uh, let, me, let me give it to you. <clears throat> I have it here in my system and in my brain. Yes, we have by, due to, through, because of, as a result of. Repeat, by, as a result of, due to, through, and because of. Hey, guys, something really important. I always do that. Maybe it's, a, it's something like insignificant, I don't know. But it's really important that you are understood about that. Let's see. Because we're going to practice also pronunciation just to give you like a heads up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have O-F-F, -F, which is pronounced off, but we have O-F. How do you pronounce O-F? Of. 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 Very good. I got Exactly. Everybody pronounce it off, but it's not good. No. When you have... It's like a of and, and V. Exactly. Oh, like an O and a V, actually. When yes. you have an O and F, you gotta pronounce it like of. You see? Of. When you touch the first group of your teeth with the lower part of your lip. Of. Maybe you, you will feel like, I'm crazy, of, but that's okay. Okay, so of, O-F, of with double F. Are we good? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yeah, sir. I have yes, a problem. Sorry, I apologize. Go ahead. I have a problem because when I learned to the, the English, the, the, when I started, you started, I remember that... The, I remember that uh, my teacher uh, pronounce pronounce uh, the the article the mm -hmm. from D D the etc. and um en español <laughs> me me regañan porque porque yo siempre digo D D D y dicen que tiene que ser como da. Entonces, no sé si hay diferencia o es... Yes, it is. Aprendí mal, ¿ok? Uh, yes, it is. I'm going to mm -hmm. say you guys the difference between the different pronunciation of T-H-E. Hay diferentes pronunciaciones de T-H-E. Y hay varias. Ok. Ah, ok. <laughs> so, don't worry, ¿ok? No te preocupes. Ah, ok. Don't worry. Ok, ok. Going back to business, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Después de esta publicidad, right? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, hoy les vamos a enseñar algo muy interesante. I, I need your help, guys. Necesito su ayuda. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, 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 who can help me? Vamos a ver. Carlitos, are you able to help me? Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado? Carlitos, Carlitos, Carlitos. Carlitos se fue a tomar un café. He went to have a cup of coffee. Okay, Janelle, awesome. Go ahead, girl. Ask me un favor, do me a favor. Can you please read present continuous passive voice? Dale. Okay, okay. 
Léemelo antes de los ejemplos. Solamente léeme las dos primeras líneas, please, if you don't mind. Es un continuous passive voice, example. The, to form the present continuous passive voice, we use present continuous tense of verb to be. Mm -hmm. But with the past participle, passive participle from the of the main verb. Exactly. Thank you, Janelle. Guys, para hacer el presente continuo pasivo, voz pasiva, utilizamos el verbo to be. Acuérdense que el verbo to be present continuous se forma por el verbo to be, is, are, ¿verdad? O am, dependiendo. Y el ing de los verbos. ¿Es correcto? ¿O no? Yes, teacher. Ok. Pero aparte de eso, usamos el pasado participio de los verbos. O del verbo principal. Y vean acá, tenemos varios ejemplos. ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Quién me ayuda? Who can help me? Reading it. The house is being painted the by house the is workers. Being... The by house my is work, my... painted. My... Very good. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? What does it mean in Spanish? La casa se la pintaron. Está siendo pintada. Trabajadores. Está siendo pintada. Very good. ¿Por quién es? Los, Por los no. trabajadores. Very good, very good. Number two, ¿quién me lo dé? Gracias, Ira. The, the cake is being baked, baked by the, my sister. Ok, ¿quién está horneando el pastelito? Mi hermana, very my good. sister. Your sister, <laughs> awesome, very good, very good. Uh, 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 who else? Carlita. Number three. The book is being writing. It's written been? by written by the it's author. Been. Very good. Mira, si tú te fijas, bear to be, bear to be, bear to be. Mira, el ing form del verbo be, right? Cero estar. Y después, the past participle of the verbs. ¿Estamos bien hasta allí? Yes, teacher. Yes. Y tú te fijas, ahorita somos usado la preposición by, porque significa por. All right. Ahora bien, guys, we have negative form and we have also question or interrogative way. Tenemos forma negativa del present continuous passive voice y tenemos forma también de pregunta. ¿Les parece si la vemos? Yes, ah, no les creo. Yes, ah, no te creo. Más fuerte. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. that's what I need. Yes, Energy. Teacher. Come on. Awesome. Démosle pues. Veámosla. Lo único diferente que es es que vamos a usar la partícula. Miren. ¿Qué partícula vamos a usar? ¿Quién cree? ¿Quién me adivina? Oh. Oh. Not. not. Exactly. The, partic the word not. For example, ¿se recuerdan el primer ejemplo que decía the house is being painted by the workers? Si quiero decir que no, ¿qué voy a hacer? What am I, I going to do? Not. Exactly. Not. I'm going to add the, the word not. not. Pero vean a dónde la voy a add it. Between the bird to be and between the ing form of the verb to be. Miren. The, yo no, no voy a decir the house is being not painted. O no voy a decir the house is being painted not. The house is not being painted. Va en medio de la forma del present continuous. Miren, ¿dónde va? ¿Hoy sí? Yes. All right. Ahora, interrogative wave. ¿Cómo lo hago el interrogative wave? ¿Qué es lo que cambia? 
¿Qué es lo the, que cambia the aquí? Order. The order. order what? The to bear to be is exactly the... awesome. The order of the bird to be. For example, it, it no matter if it's in reg, in affirmative or negative way, we have the bird to be is after the subject, right? Then in this case is the house. Pero si yo quiero hacerlo pregunta, ¿qué pasa con el bird to be? Hoy va al principio. Before, at the beginning. Before the subject, which is the house. Is the house being painted by the workers? Yes or no? Depends, right? So far so good? Some of you say? Yes, teacher. Let's continue with passive voice? Yes. yes. Okay. You see? Easy peasy quizy. I know. I told you. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay. Ahora bien, déjeme ponerles otro ejemplo. All righty. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Okay. Hoy vamos a poder ver una parte muy importante. Yes, definitely. I'm going to share right now my screen with you. ¿Pueden ver? Sí. Okay. Yes. All right. Entonces, para present continuous, que sería solamente necesito que vean esta parte de aquí arriba. Si ustedes se fijan, aquí está el verb to be, right? Is, are, been, and the past participle of the verbs. Polluted, damaged, and repair. What does it mean polluted, guys? Polluted. Contaminado. Contaminado. Very good. Contaminado. Exactly. Exactly. Para present continuous passive, tenemos three prepositions que podemos usar. El by, as a result of, and do too. All righty. I don't know if it's Ruthie. Are you here? Ruth? Está Ruthie por aquí? Saulito? Saulito. What? Hello? Okay, good. Do me a favor, Saulito. Can you please read for me the first sentence when it says the air? First. The air is being polluted. Uh huh. By. Fumes? Fumes. Mm -hmm. From cars and trucks. Trucks. Very good. El. Aire está siendo contaminado por el humo de carro de los humo, el humo de los carros y de los trailers, de los trailers, the trucks, exactly, o camiones. All right, Francisco, do me a favor, read it for me, sentence number two. All right, uh, city street are being the match as a result of. Uh, I don't know, teacher. I don't know. Ah, heavy okay. traffic. Uh, as a result of, of heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. Exactly. City streets are being damaged. Repeat after me. Damage. 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 As Damage. a result of heavy traffic. Repeat after me. As a result of heavy traffic. Muy bien. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? What does it mean? Las calles de la ciudad han sido dañadas por resultado del tráfico pesado. Exactly. Como pasa en nuestro San Salvador, ¿verdad? Que hay un montón de baches porque pasan muchos camiones, por ejemplo. Heavy traffic. Ajá. ¿Ves que, o como resultado, as a result of, también. ¿Ves que es una proposición diferente pero que casi tiene el mismo significado? Yes. Ok. Number three. The last, David, are you with me? David. Yes, teacher. Bye. Can you please be so kind to read for me sentence number three? This is hotels. Hotels aren't being repaired. Mm -hmm. Due to? Hotels aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. A funding. Okay. What does it mean in Spanish? What are portals? Uh, 
I don't know, teacher. Who knows that? Mm -hmm. Baches. Photos are baches. Los baches de las calles, pues. Hoyos, baches. Los hoyos, los baches, sí. Los cráteres que tenemos acá. That one. Exactly. ¿Qué quiere decir? Los, los, los baches no están siendo reparados debido al, a la escasez de... ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? ¿De qué? The potholes. ¿O cómo? The pot, pot, ah, the potholes. Potholes. Uh -huh. Fondos. Fondos. Dinero. A lack of founding. Exacto. Like, en otra palabra, no hay plata. Right? ¿Sí? El don no es para. All righty. Very good. Y present perfect. Pase. ¿Quién me lo lee? Muchísimas gracias, Isaura. Muy amable de tu parte. <laughs> Okay, many parts have, have been lost through overbuilding. Mm -hmm. Miren, have been lost through overbuilding. Les pregunto, ¿qué dice acá en español? What does it mean in Spanish? Se han perdido. ¿Qué? Muchos parques han sido eh, perdidos uh -huh. eh, por la uh, sobreconstrucción. Exactly. Ajá, exactly. Pregunto, ¿es algo que ya pasó o es algo que ha empezado uh, desde el pasado y que todavía continúa sucediendo? Desde el pasado y continúa. Ex continúa. Exacto. Continúa. Es, es, es como un problema que, que empezó hace muchos años, pero que todavía lo tenemos, right? Por eso usamos present perfect passive. Muy bien. The last one, the homeless. ¿Quién me ayuda? Gracias, Isabo. The homeless have been displaced because of, because of overcrowding in city shelters. Very good. ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? Los, los vagabundos han sido desplazados debido a... O, o, Uh, no, uh, no. Overcrowding. overcrowding in city shelters. City shelters. ¿Saben qué son overcrowding? No. no, no como, sé. como topados. Eh, como, ajá, exactly. Oh. Cuando uno dice crowded, es que es como el estadio Cuscatlán cuando oh. juega el águila con el FAS. Que hay un gentil, <laughs> right? O los buses. Ajá, exactly. Overcrowding es que está topado, como dijo Ira. ¿Y saben qué son city shelters? Los como dormitorios públicos. Ex refugios. Very good. Refugios. Exacto. Ah, algo así. Algo así. Ah, no estabas tan mal. Te felicito. Muy bien. ¿Ven? Entonces, chicos. ¿Ven cómo, cómo se usa el through y el because of? Si ustedes se fijan, el present continuous passive es algo que está pasando en el momento. Pero en el present passive, en el present perfect passive, es un problema que se viene generando desde el pasado y que todavía en el presente continúa. ¿Entienden la diferencia? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces, como último recurso, les voy a leer el resumen que yo he hecho de Present Continuous Passive. The Present Continuous Passive Voice, guys, is a powerful tool. Es una herramienta muy importante y poderosa para expresar ongoing actions in the past form. Porque it filters to focus, guys, on the action itself rather than the doer, making it useful for various writing styles and contexts. When the present continue passive, when you use it, it's essential, guys, to understand the grammatical structures. Por eso es que yo le estoy dando mucha importancia a la grammar structure. Y como último recurso, antes de irnos, vamos, quiero decirles algo del present perfect passive. Es que we use the present perfect in the passive voice, guys, um, in the active voice as well, to talk about recent actions, experiences, and ongoing actions and situations. That is really, really important. So with this information, 
you will be able to do the platform exercises. Ahora bien, no se preocupe. If you have doubts or questions, la teacher aquí está 24-7, pero no lo tomen tan literal. Please. I used to have a student that I told him that he was sending him a message at 10 minutes to, new, to midnight. Can you imagine? That was, that, that was too much. It was not of you, so don't worry about it. It was another student, so don't worry about that. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Any doubts, any questions, please let me know right now. No? I think you're a really smart student. Don't you think? Christian, what up? What happened to you? Is everything okay? Like water or like or chata? Like water. Like water. Yes. Guys, <clears throat> me felicitan por mi español. ¿Qué número me dan? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Be honest. I like your Spanish. <laughs> so, <laughs> because I remember cry. my cousin. I'm going to cry. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm doing my Teacher, best. Teacher, where are you from? Where am I from? From the country that I, that I have been born. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Del país donde nací. Algún día te voy a decir. No, yo soy del Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. Y estoy muy orgullosa de ser salvadoreña. Y Alex no me cree. I know that. Happily. Yeah, I'm being honest yeah. with you. I'm from El Salvador. Come on. Really? Yes, from Santa Ana, my friend. That's good. Yeah, teacher, yeah. like me. That's good. What? You like you, David? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was from Santa Ana. Yeah, <laughs> of course. The city of beautiful ladies. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, you are so selfish, teacher. Yes, I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Yes, Ida. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to send you some exercises. And please feel free to send to send me any of your questions, okay? I'd be glad to give you a hand. I know it's time to say goodbye. You have to go to sleep, right? <laughs> yes, everybody. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, guys. Hats and kisses. Have an amazing night. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.